Welcome back, fellow believers. Today we're going to cover Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. I will be reading from the New American Standard because of uh, the capitalized the pronoun of God. Like my is capital M and me is capital M. So I think that's much more according to the meaning is to me it makes more sense than to not capitalize so actually there's two versions that's capitalized uh, out of these five the new american standard and the holman study bible okay so it's the middle column i'm reading from but as for you exodus 31 verse 13 but as for you speak to the sons of israel saying you shall surely observe my Sabbaths, for this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. Amen. So what we see here is we need to speak to one another, just like the Israelites were charged to speak to the sons of Israel. We need to speak to one another, to speak to each other, to speak to all the Christians. You shall surely observe my Sabbaths. Observe means to keep. Keep my Sabbath. King James and their English Standard Version say keep. Observe my Sabbath or keep my Sabbath. Sabbaths, that means plural. For this is a sign. Why should we keep the, the Lord's Sabbath, Jehovah God's Sabbath, or Yahweh's Sabbaths? Because it is a sign between God and us throughout our generations that we may know that Jehovah God is the Lord who sanctifies us. I want to share about sanct uh, about keeping the Lord's Sabbath. It's different from our concept. A lot of Christians, they just, uh, I think, well, there's there's a debate out there among Christians which day is the Sabbath day. Most Christians see it that the Sabbath was changed from Saturday to Lord's Day or Sunday, commonly known. But the Bible says Lord's Day, the first day of the week. But uh, there are some still to keep the Old Testament way, and that is look at Saturday as the Sabbath rest. So uh, the Jews would not uh, do any work. And uh, they even try to... Uh, they put Jesus to death because of Jesus did work on the Sabbath. And the Lord said, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. So Jews see rest as physical rest, not doing particular type of labor, but they're still allowed to walk. Anyway, And then the Seventh-day Adventists today, this are real genuine Christians, born again, believe the redemptive work of Christ, they are born again, but uh, they also keep the Sabbath. So they worship God on Saturday to get together. I think they even have the Lord's Supper on Saturday. But most of us Christians worship on Lord's Day and even have our breaking bread on Lord's Day. But anyway, that is not the main concern I have, whether it's Saturday or Lord's Day. I believe it's Lord's Day, the first day of the week, because the Bible in the New Testament says so. And on the first day of the week, when you come together, and then to break the Lord's bread. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and 11.
but I wanted to talk about the real meaning of Sabbath. Sabbath is a rest. Sa Sabbath means rest. How do we Christians rest? Well, in the Old Testament, in Genesis 1 and 2, God created this and that, this and that. And then on the seventh day after creating man, he said, God rested on the seventh day and says, very good. Now, the seventh day is our first day for man. Because in the New Testament, it says on the first day of the week. So God's seventh day is man's first day. God worked and then rested on the seventh day. We rest on our first day and then we labor. So rest means, rest does not, Sabbath does not mean that we, we need to rest. Rest does not mean just to physically take a day to worship God and don't do any labor, physical labor. Rest means actually rest in our souls. How do we rest in our souls? How do we rest in our souls? We can only rest in our soul by being filled with the God of rest. That is Jehovah God, the triune God, the Father, Son, Spirit. The Spirit, we need to be filled in spirit. We need to enjoy the Lord in His Word until the Word becomes spirit, life, light, everything to us. And when we're filled with Him to such an extent where He becomes our strength, our energy, our wisdom, our person, our being, and we are one with Him, that's how we take the Sabbath rest, observe the Sabbath rest, and keep the Sabbath rest. Amen. For this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. So our real sanctification of being holy is to have the Holy God saturating our entire being, especially our soul. We need to be in our spirit, we need to let the Spirit spread to our soul. We need to let Christ make home in our heart so that He's our energy, our enjoyment, our everything. This is to keep the Sabbath, observe the Sabbath. And this is a sign between Jehovah and us throughout our generations that we may know that Jehovah God is the I Am who sanctifies us. Amen. Don't forget to smash the subscribe, the like, and leave a comment. And we'll see you in the next video. The Lord bless you out of Zion. We thank the Lord for being our Sabbath rest. Thank you, Lord, that you are our Sabbath rest. Thank you, Lord, for this sign between you and us throughout our generations. Lord, we know that you are the Lord, the Jehovah God, who sanctifies us. Amen.